Do you ever get one thing that just totally inspires a whole idea for a new set of nails? This is my inspiration. These little pieces. These plus square tips, a little bit of acrylic, no light, will create these. Let's get started. I love this design because it's super easy to do. I had several colors to choose from, and to me, this was all about color. So I'm gonna start with my square tips. I got a great selection here. There's 500 in a box, and I picked out the sizes that I want. So I'm gonna use acrylic, no light, and this is really fast. All you do is bead and stick. I'm just gonna buff up. I did buff up most. I've got pretty much no nails on. Do it a nice low speed. These are pretty much naked. Uh, there may be a thin, like this one in particular, I think has a thin, thin layer. When you are putting tips on or full jelly tips or any coverage tip like that, full coverage tip, you want to make sure you get the majority of it off. Now, if you leave any product on, just make sure you completely take it off around the cuticle and the sides because that's where the height will be. If you have it too high, the tip will sit high. So make sure you take that part off. So these are pretty much prepped. Going to just little dust free. So I have my Let's Prep and Let's Bond and you always start with the prep. It's easy to get confused, I'll be honest with you. So between prep and prime. Primer you have to have. Prep, if you forgot it, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But I actually put on the bottle which one you use first, so it's very, very clear. Okay, let's get the, the bonder on there. So I'm just gonna quickly bomb through and get these nails on so we can start decorating right away. I'm just gonna really put these on really fast. I'll just give you a couple of tips for one and then we'll just move on. I find that they say to buff the inside of the tips, but I forget almost every single time <laughs> and it adheres so well, I never have a problem with them popping off. So what I wanna do is get just a real tiny bead. I'll just show you one and we'll just move on. You don't wanna get too big of a bead. You wanna pop it in there and literally pop it onto your finger and then move it up. Put a little bit of pressure. Remember I said there's no light. You just hold it until it's cured or almost cured and then you release. This is fast setting so it should cure pretty quick. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pop the rest on real quick. Okay, now I'm just gonna file them up a little bit, shape them, and then we're gonna nail art them. Now you don't have to do this, this is totally optional. I'm just gonna turn my drill on really quite low. And I'm just gonna go around the cuticles quite gently, just to smooth out any type of cuticle that might, because they're, they're not custom fit like acrylic with a form or a build with a hybrid gel or an acrylic when you use a form. That's a custom nail. These are trying to simulate that as much as possible. So you just have to go around the cuticle a little. You don't have to do that, it's just an option. You can just make them look a little more custom by going around the cuticle. And the idea is not to buff over top to change the shape. Now, I do want to do that a little bit so I can have the gel stick to it, but you can also do that with a hand file, whatever's more comfortable for you. So I'm just gonna go around the cuticle, smooth it out, just to give it that custom look. And then on the very tip of it, I'll show you that sometimes when they're made, the jelly tips, they have a little, a little piece of plastic near the number. We're gonna keep this really square. These are my square shapes, so they're nice and square. And I'm just gonna file that off real smooth to keep that nice square shape. We don't wanna change that at all. Just take that little end off. Okay, and then you can get a softer file if you like, and just go over top of the whole thing quite gently. We're just buffing it so that the gel polish sticks to it. And if you're using nail polish, you can just totally don't buff it at all.
Now I'm gonna cover the whole nail with the nail art bits, but I am gonna still have a base color underneath, but very slight, I think. I might switch around for a few different ones to just test out different looks. Did just kind of too little then I'm gonna nuke the thumb I do the thumb sort of up like that so it doesn't run okay so now we can do the others let me get this on to keep my hand nice and steady so I do have this on my other hand and I just love it so I think I will put one nail as a base let's just maybe do an accent one Oh wow, that really is a pretty color. Mm -mm -mm. That is gorgeous. I don't know, something's happening to me in my older years, I'm tending to like these kind of colors. Generally, I don't. This isn't usually a color I go for. I don't know why. I think because it was kind of popular in the 80s. Maybe I'm over it, but I'm finding a new love for them. So I'm just gonna get a little cheeky with the two different on either side. No particular pattern. I'm just, you know, goofing around. And yes, you can bleed the two colors together. So if you find you're getting it in your brush and that really annoys you, you can have a little towel and just wipe it off before you put it back in. Just let me wipe the cuticle. I always use my nails as tools. Not supposed to, but it's they're there as long as they're not hurting them. <laughs> they're too tempting, aren't they? So let me see if I can do this one. And then this one. You can also get a little tiny brush and go around the cuticles. This is a little more forgiving because it's a really kind of a see-through color. So I'm sort of taking advantage of it. But before you nuke, clean up those cuticles. Just in case you spilled. Ooh. That is pretty. Okay, nuke. I didn't do the ring finger with that solid color because I don't really feel it needs it with what I'm putting on top. So the secret of not getting frustrated when you're placing in little bits of art, sometimes if they're really light little bits, they will fall if you have a runnier top coat. Now top coats, you usually put it on and you nuke it right away and it's not really an issue. But if you're taking the time to put the little pieces in, you may find that the top coat might run a little and it might frustrate you. I'm just gonna pour my little, my little bits. Look how gorgeous those are. I absolutely love them. And you gotta have a waxing tool so you have a little, or you can use a crayon and use the end of crayon. And you wanna have a flat surface. So when you pick them up, you have a pressure point to push it against. So what I do is I put my top coat on as I'm doing it. So if you're confident you can do it really quick or if your nail's a little bit shorter, you can paint the whole nail or just do it in patches. Okay, so I'm gonna switch glasses because it's super, super detailed and I might need that. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna put the top coat on real thin and just on kind of like one half, like I did the color, just on one half. It's nice and thin, just enough surface tension there so the bits of art can just grab right onto it. And I'm gonna start just applying. alternating between the green color and I don't have to if I if I mess that up no biggie you can do it any way you want and then I'm going to place the next ones though pretty tight up against so you can see how you won't really see the gel through the color coat that I put on but just in case it peeks through just gives it more of a unified look and just butt it right up This is why you want to make sure that your gel polish isn't going to run because it can really move them out of position and you're precisely placing it. So once you get it going, you can just keep going. Okay, so this one has to be cut. So now I've got a spot, look at this, right? So I could put it right here but it might go over the edge. Oh, it might work. I might have to cut some in half is what I'm saying. So let me place this one right here. Oh, I think I can get away with that one. Just, but I do see that I do wanna cut one in half because I do need it for the end, but I've got me little scissors here ready for just that. Okay, now I'm gonna put them down here so I don't, I should have cut some beforehand, so I would suggest you cut a bunch. Because you're gonna need that for the very end, right? Look at that, nobody moved. That's fantastic, that's what I wanted. So I'm gonna just get this little end piece. Oh, I got it the wrong way around. You'll see what I mean when I get it in there. Right? Oh, so good. Okay, so I am actually gonna nuke that because I wanna hold that in place. I don't wanna bump that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna do them all. It might be a bit much, but I like it. done them all I'm just gonna top coat this one finger because I sort of top coated them all as I went so I just have one left to do you could leave it without the top coat actually It actually still looks pretty good, but I decided to um, top coat it. Gives it a little extra shine, I think. And with that, let's check out the glistening reveals. Lots of different facets. Well, I think they are Absolutely beautiful. Now the tips go down fast. Making the nails in this video is very quick, but the nail art is much more time consuming in this situation, which is great because you don't want to take a long time if you're going to spend this much time on nail art. It's good to get the nails down quick. I'm just going to critique myself because that's how I learn. I try to do that every single time and I'm not going to be mean. I'm just going to be nice to myself, but I prefer 
Now this is a smaller finger anyway, but see how this one is so much more slender and narrow? And I didn't shape it or anything. That's exactly how it was, but it's a bigger finger anyway. But I have at least two or three coats of pre-polished gel polish on there before I laid down the nail art bits. Whereas this one, remember I just put one coat of the color. That was it. And it looks much narrower. So I like that better. Anyway, I think they're gorgeous. If you want to learn a little bit more in detail on how to apply those quick tips, check this video out, it's great.